Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. The hooded game player left me a message. Have I tried the cutthroat on the MTZ556? He also recommended stalker boots, which I forgot to do. Sorry for that. But I like the cutthroat on the AMR9 so much that I decided to give it a try. I said that I would, and here's the configuration that I used in case you're interested in a screenshot. We'll go over some of the statistics here in a second. Anyway, this thing I found was amazing. I played five games with it, five matches. Mobility, look what it does. It increases the movement speed. Yeah, it's good. Crouch movement speed, awesome, but I never really use that. But look at the ADS movement speed, 3.8 meters per second. You're like a photon bouncing around in a box car, a neutron. They call you Johnny Neutron or is that Jimmy Neutron? Now, don't be swayed by the red there. If you look at the actual numbers, hey, look, there's a footed, hooded furry tribble, speaking of hooded. It's an excellent, accurate weapon, even with the 10% decrease. That's why those numbers can fool you. Don't let them scare you away. Ironback has entered the lobby. Another one of those. Ranges don't change. The range is excellent on it, 26.7 meters, but look at the rate of fire, 810.8, and you're strafing side to side like a ballet or figure skater in the Olympics. Like a hockey player. How's that? That's better. And damage doesn't change. It's middling damage, but with the fire rate, very fast time to kill, especially if they can't they can't get a bead on you look at there we got the the teal nun is in the lobby we got all the famous people there's snoop remote turret means grandpa's gacked by by the farm there's iron back he decided to come upstairs and keep me some company so we got to heal a little bit take a shot at my friend i gotta find a spot where this thing can go oh that valid valid and now we drop a trophy system and we run right into the teal nun. But this thing strays, if you'll notice, side to side. Five games. I played five games and I can't decide which ones to show you. The second one is going to be shipment next. And it is even, the gun performed even better on that one. Oh, look how fast that guy moved. Oh my gosh. Performed better on that one than it did on this one. And it performed admirably. Grandpa's shooting up a tag there. But since it's a tag and he's a good COD citizen, we're going to get it. Never know when the other team is going to get Shotzi or Scumpy or a Beezy or somebody like that show up and r run the lobby and win the game. Look at there. There's both hooded furry tribbles. They must be twins, but my mosquito bit them. I might have bought the farm. There's a hooded furry tribble, another one. One of the twins. The teal nun shows up. There's iron back. There's a hooded furry tribble. We got all the most famous people there. All of our friends. And the MTZ 556 is a reasonable weapon to start with. Yeah, that guy just absolutely avoided me. You think he didn't want to be friends or something? But with the strafe and the crouch movement speed, think about that strafe. There's iron back. He never had a chance. There's a hooded furry tribble. I don't know how he survived that. There's somebody. My friend must have killed him there. And we're on to iron back again. Straight on. You get, a, you get the shot. Look at that strafe. <laughs> and I are back. I buy the farm anyway, but it was a beautiful strafe, right, coach? I felt really smooth moving with this thing. Smooth moves. Used to be a joke when I was in elementary school back in the 60s. 1960s, not 18. That was a strafe, a hooded furry tribble. We got the crowd coming to see the jack cutthroat on the MTZ, and we ended up winning that one. 
no big shock. But I didn't get enough. I played four more games. Wasn't really pleased with my performance in that. I was with the weapon. I was more pleased with this game on shipment. I think it's a domination. We got Cheech Marin. We got a CDL pro there. At least he's dressed like one. There's Cheech. Where's Tommy Chong? Didn't see him on this map. I think there, look at there. Look, see the strafe on that? He could not keep up with me. Oh, that's was burning there. It's dangerous. It's against Department of Transportation guidelines to store burning torches. Had to pull out the Renetti a few times. There's Cheech and Cheech, but no Chong. Cheech, <laughs> oh my God. I think I was low on ammunition there. I was, I was out of ammo for the MTZ. And we got a VTOL. Things always improve when you get a fighter pilot in the group, just to ask me. There's Teets, he's already bought the farm. There's his, his buddy with, a, was that an Optic? Optic Texas skin on. Look how fast this thing, look at that strafe. Look at that strafe right there. Double, strafed into a double kill. Oh, bought the farm that time. There's Cheech. Cheech is the king. Uh-oh, got to pull out the Renetti. Give him some love taps with the Renetti. Look at that strafe. I, I mean, I just can't say enough good about the MTZ 556. Uh, except... Uh, Nothing, nothing against the MTZ, but like I said, I put the small mag on it. So if I'm not accurate to start with, I'm finishing up with the Renetti or I'm buying the farm. Look at how it picks off a head glitch in the strafe. That was in the strafe. There's Grandpa's not... There's another one, poor Cheech. He never had a chance. The MTZ... You pull the trigger down, you're strafing, it's a win. So, as you can tell, I love this weapon. Please like and subscribe, helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace to you. Try this out, you are going to love it. Believe me.